Welcome back my dear students. So in the last video, uh, we have learned to display a pop-up that says hello world in our browser. Okay, so this time we're going to be learning at least three more ways on how to display a text on our browser. All right, using JavaScript as our programming language. And uh, uh, always remember that in, in programming, there are always a lot of uh, there are a lot of ways to do the same thing all right so uh, this time i'm going to sh show you three more ways on how to display a text on a browser and uh, to do that uh, first in our vs code let's just go ahead and click file and select open folder and in our desktop where our project folder is located let's go ahead and go inside here and uh, let's uh, create a new folder called uh, JavaScript output, okay? Because we are uh, outputting a text in our browser. So we're, go we're going to put all of our code in here. So select that and click this select folder. All right, there you have it. So uh, let's go ahead and create our index.html. We always start with that. And let's create our JavaScript file. Let's name it app.js. Okay, just like uh, when we are creating CSS. Okay, uh, let's just create a CSS here. Let's say style.css so that we can practice uh, working on the three technologies right away. Okay, so let's click this. Uh, now you have three tabs here for the welcome page. Just close it. So make sure you go to index.html first right over here and start typing our code. And to link our CSS, it's at the top, okay? Link here and then type the file, style.css. Okay, and to link our JavaScript file, it should be before the closing body tag. Okay, it's by using the tag called script, okay? And then the attribute instead of href for JavaScript, we use src, all right? And then we type the file here, the JavaScript file. All right, so now our index.html is connected to both CSS and the JavaScript, okay? So now you're starting to learn how to integrate these three technologies in order to come up with a good product. All right, so... Uh, for us to preview what, what's happening in our program, since we have live server plugin, I'm assuming you have it there in your end as well. I, I teach you that in, the, in, in one of the videos prior to this one. So you can, what you can do is you can right click here and then select open with live server, all right? When you do that, it brings up a, uh, a new tab right over here. If your live sometimes VS Code, uh, you know this one is a software that is in continuous, in a continuous uh, development. So sometimes this one doesn't work. If it doesn't work, just drag your file over here. All right, uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, refresh this one. Right, but if it's working, go ahead and uh, right-click here and open with Live Server, so that when we type something here, let's say H1, with some text. It automatically displays here right upon saving our document all right so we are talking about JavaScript here so let's erase this h1 first okay uh, we are on the label now for uh, uh, like the introduction to JavaScript okay I mean uh, we're going to smoothly absorb little by little knowledge the basic knowledge of JavaScript uh, until we are become uh, until we achieve the intermediate skill and then advanced all right so i'm very excited to uh, teach you this and uh, i promise to you this is going to be a more focused on practicality all right instead of theory but i will create some videos for passive learning okay we're trying to combine active and passive learning active is doing hands-on and passive is just you're just watching all right so for for passive learning i'm going to include uh, videos that explains the theories and concepts behind these technologies. So uh, in the last video, uh, uh, we have created the pop-up that says hello world. Let's do that right now again. Okay. 
So we can head over to our app.js since it's already connected here. Let's go here. Let make sure you save the changes here, right? So in app.js, we have used alert before to display hello world in a pop-up, okay? Upon saving, you see there, there's a pop-up. Okay, some websites utilize this, all right? So for example, when a user trying to uh, type in a login form and there's a blank, there's a pop-up that says uh, all uh, fields must be uh, are required, something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and click OK and delete this. And to, I'm going to show you uh, how to display a text that is not a pop-up but directly on the page. So let's go ahead and type this document dot write and then let's say hello world okay when you save that then it displays the hello world directly into the browser instead of a pop-up okay let me just put back the alert here so you can use it as a reference okay and then semicolon here and now we have both code so to comment out in javascript just like with css just press uh, the control and then your forward slash okay just press this so you can highlight the code to comment out and then control forward slash okay now this code is not going to work All right so when we refresh the page it's only this one. All right, so this is the first way to display a hello world text in JavaScript. This is the second one, which is going to, um, which is going to write the directly a text inside the browser. Okay, don't worry about this structure right now. We are. Uh, I am calling this as a technician approach. A computer technician knows how how to install an operating system knows how to install windows linux mac and do some troubleshooting even they don't know how to create a, a, the basic operating system all right so that's our approach right now let's focus on how things work in javascript and later i'm going to create a video explaining uh, because there are things like functions methods object oriented programming things like that but i don't want you to get overwhelmed with those with those terminologies uh, uh, we want to di digest, I want you to digest right now uh, how things work in JavaScript. That way, in my opinion, you learn more how to work around with the syntax. Because in my experience, this is just in my, in my experience, and uh, I, 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 it was easy to understand concepts like object-oriented programming, but when we put it in practice, it's a different story. Especially if you are new to a programming language, even if you're already expert, in one programming language and you know the object object oriented programming approach but when you go into the next one uh, the challenge is um, you still have to know the syntax and how to work around with that language in order to, to create a an app all right so that's our approach here right now so uh, document refers to the entire document the browser right the entire document then write just like alert javascript it's this is already a built-in functionality of javascript uh there are uh, codes already in there in order for to display that uh pop-up and this one right here there are already codes inside this uh right in order to display this hello world okay we'll just have to specif to specify a parameter here okay so basically you can display anything you want you can just copy this and maybe type your name here I'll type my name and my name will display in a browser just like that and of course in HTML you know that to create um, a, a line right you use a BR tag for the next line right if you have an h1 here with some text and another h1 here with some text and reference the browser uh, using the BR tag there in, in a separate line okay I will use uh, a span. Uh, no, I, I did not introduce span yet. Uh, there's a. Co uh, all right, just, just don't worry about this. I span is an HTML element, which is an inline element. Okay. That doesn't really have a meaning at all. Okay. 
for example I'm going to say here let's just comment out everything here in our JavaScript so we can see all right only the HTML code uh, span I'll put here my first name and here is my last name all right I'll get rid of the BR tag uh, as you can see even for for span element okay uh, I'll put another one right here it says uh, programmer okay even if they are in the next line uh, in a separate line in our code uh, in our browser they are inline because span is an inline element okay but if you're going to put a br tag here okay you can see the the other one has been pushed to the next line and another br tag here all right and we have that you can do that in javascript as well okay so let's erase everything and let's go back to javascript and let's uh, comment uh, uncomment both of this maybe i'll say document that's right jerome here and then morales here the second one okay uh, now we are on the same line but i can say document that write let's say uh, br okay let's see if it works all right as you can see uh we are writing an html code in our browser using javascript okay uh, so what we did here in html we can also do it here in javascript okay and this is how to do it so if you wanted another text right over here that says programmer which is inline right now and we can copy this and paste it right over here now we have that uh, uh, this element has been pushed to the next line okay so that's it for the document that write okay so it's basically writing uh, a text or an HTML element inside the uh, uh, directly into the browser all right so I hope you have, you have learned something today and see you in the next video for uh, two more ways on how to work or to display uh, a value or an output in our browser using JavaScript okay once we master how to display uh, output uh, data here in our browser we can proceed with our uh, next lesson okay have a good one and see you in the next video